Robert, your, uh, your brother was out for two and a half years fighting a contract dispute. Why do you think that was important for him to stick up for himself? And not just for him, but for all fighters who sometimes get themselves in a contract that they can't get out of or they're being taken advantage of. Look, when, when a fighter when a fighter is, is put on hold, like Mikey was, and and and, uh, and there's no way you, you could get away out of your contract, Some most of the times fighters, they have to, they, you know, they, they're going to starve because that's the only income they have. So what happens six months later, they need a fight, they need money, so they go back to the program, okay, now I got to fight, so pretty much I'm in your hands. But, you know, what, what I admire of Mikey, you know, is that even though he went through two and a half years of not fighting, not getting any income from, from fights, it, it was hard. It was frustrating for myself, for my dad, but we, 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 uh, we admire his decision to say, no, I'm going to go all the way, I'm going to go all the way, you know. A year after he was, um, he, he he got into his uh, into that, that legal problems with with Top Rank. There was some good offers for him from from Top Rank themselves that I received through emails. And I went to Mike. And Mike's like, nah, it's already it's already been too long. You know, offers that we sh could have said yes, but Mike said, no, I'm already too too deep into this. I'm gonna go all the way. So we gotta admire that. You know, you know, lucky enough. You know, when Mikey. When Mikey uh, became champion, you know, he invested his money right. He didn't spend it crazy. He bought a few properties. So he was able to, to get a little income uh, uh, for the two and a half years. But, uh, you know, you got you to gotta admire that. And, you know, very few fighters could do that. Mikey went all the way, and he showed the boxing world that, that it's possible, that, you know, we can't let uh, one promoter just eat you up like that, you know. You have to, you have to. You know they're the ones fighting. They're the ones ri risking their lives. So, uh, so they, you know, they got. You know, Mikey looked up to himself, and now he's in a good position. He's only 29. He just turned 29 last month. So, so he's got quite a few years left. Do you think he prolonged his career by taking that break? Because I mean, we see that a lot of fighters. You know, you think, oh, wow, it's the prime that he's missing out on. But yeah, but he's keeping that miles for later. I think. I think with Mikey, it's sort of the opposite. I think with Mikey, we have Mikey for 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 a lot more years than before. I, I know Mikey very well, and, and I said it before he even said it. I know that if Mikey would continue fighting and would have been making, you know, because he would have been making really good money on HBO and, and, and pay-per-view fights, stuff like that, Mikey, by, by, by now, Mikey would probably already be retired. So now, for those two and a half years that he took off, that gave Mikey more, like, a need to, to do it, a little more hunger. He, uh, he, he's got bigger plans now at 135, 140, eventually even 147. He, he's got challenges where before he didn't have them. The fights were just too easy for him. You know, for, he never, you know, he won two titles and after the fights he never even celebrated. He wasn't even happy. He wasn't even, he never even had a smile on his face because for him it was just like too easy. Now he's got challenges at 135, 140, like I said, eventually 147. So now I think we have Mikey for a longer time. And he looks, you know, some fighters don't look good as they thicken out and they old, they get older over time and they move up in weight, but he's actually looking stronger. He looks like he's really going to be able to fill out until the 135, 140. Look, I'm telling you, and 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 uh, and I'm not, uh, and 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 I don't, I don't, we don't need to come into, you know, names because because, uh, you know, I, I, like 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 people were asking me, who'd you have sparring uh, Abner against Cuellar? I said, there's no need to tell anybody. It's just my own guys, our own guys that I know how to work. And same thing with Mikey. You know, I got I got a uh, I got a couple of guys that uh, that are that are fighting at at welterweight or, or junior welterweight, and they tell me uh, after sparring because they they spar middleweight, they spar 154 pounders, and they tell me, man, Mikey's got the power bigger than all you know more power than all the welterweights in my gym, and I have a lot of welterweights, a lot of 154 pounders, especially my Eastern European guys. They're strong, they're big, but they are, all, all these guys that are sparring Mikey tell me that Mikey hits harder than all of those guys. So, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty amazing that Mikey moving up in weight, he's bringing that power and even more power than he had before. So it's interesting.